Hey, growing up, I had a PlayStation 3, and seven years ago, my nine-year-old self would have never been able to imagine the power of a modded PS3. But seven years later, not only have I modded several of them, but now I'm here to show you how to do it. With that being said, let's get right into it. First things first, sadly, not all PS3s are moddable. If you have a fat model, aka the first gen PS3, you're all set. All versions of that model are compatible with custom firmware. However, if you have a PS3 Slim model, most of the early versions are compatible with custom firmware, but not all. Regardless, the PS3 Slim is compatible with PS3 Hen Soft mod just in case yours isn't compatible with regular custom firmware. Be sure to compare the model number on the bottom of your console with the list in the first link in the description to see if your PS3 Slim is compatible with custom firmware. If you have a PS3 Super Slim model, you need to follow a separate tutorial for a soft mod called PS3 Hen, as the PS3 Super Slim is not compatible with any custom firmware. I'll link a good PS3 Hen tutorial right in the description. But now that you know, let's continue. First, we have some things we have to download on the computer. We're going to want to download Rufus. This is a program that will allow us to format our USB drive exactly the way we need to. You can download it from the second link in the description. Next, we want to download the standalone PS3 checker package and PS3 tools from the third link in the description. Then we want to download the MD5 checker from the fourth link in the description. And last, our custom firmware from the fifth link in the description. For the firmware, once you get to PSX Place, click the first download option. That is the firmware we will use. Once you've downloaded everything, make sure it's all on your desktop for easy access. And if you haven't already, plug your USB drive into your computer. We will now open Rufus to format the drive. If your USB drive doesn't show up in the list, make sure to check the option List USB Drives. Now it should show up under Device. Change the boot selection to Non-Bootable and make sure the partition scheme is set to MBR. Then set the file system to either FAT32 or Large FAT32. Now, click Start to format the drive and close it once you're done. Next, just go into the USB drive and delete the files put there by Rufus. Next, if you don't already have it installed, you will need a program such as WinRAR or 7-Zip. I recommend 7-Zip, so to download it, go to the 6th link in the description and just follow the super easy setup process. Now, from your desktop, open the custom firmware. Click through and you'll see a folder named PS3. Drag that onto the root of your USB drive. Inside the PS3 folder will be the update folder, and inside the update folder you'll find the custom firmware. Make sure all the files are as shown on screen. Now we need to check the file hash and make sure it all checks out. Open the MD5 checker from your desktop and then open the .exe file. Now from your USB drive, drag your firmware straight into the MD5 checker. Click on the hash to open the compare MD5 window. Now go back to the zip file we got the PS3 folder from on your desktop. Open the md5.txt folder and copy the hash inside. Next, go back to the md5 checker and paste it in below. And if it says it's the same, then that means it's not corrupted and we can install it onto our PS3. Now, unplug the USB drive from your computer and plug it into the rightmost USB port on your PS3. Now, on the home screen of your PS3, head over to Settings, System Settings, and make sure Automatic Update is turned off. Now, scroll down and select System Information to make sure your PS3 is updated to the latest official firmware 4.91. Now, exit out of settings and head over to network. Now go to either internet search or web browser and search ps3toolset.com exactly as shown on screen. If this website ever changes, I'll be sure to update it with a pinned comment. Make sure to select yes when it asks you if you want to run the plugin. Once you're there, wait for everything to load. If it fails at this stage, that's fine. We're not actually using this website just yet. Once everything's done loading, press select on your controller and add the page to your bookmarks. Now for a higher chance of success, we want to clear the browser and have it running as lightweight as possible. Now press triangle, head to tools and select delete cookies, then select yes. Again, press triangle, go to tools and go down to delete search history and then select yes. Just keep following that process until you You've deleted cookies, search history, cache, and authentication information. Next, press triangle, head to tools, home page, and press X on the option use blank page. Now select OK. Then press circle to exit the browser. Now back on the home screen, go back to network and open up the web browser. Once the browser is open, press select to pull up your bookmarks and open the PS3 toolset. Again, when it asks you if you want to run the plugin, make sure to select yes. This time around, when loading in, if it encounters an error, you do need to restart your PS3 and reload into the website until it loads properly. Once you get the window with all the donation QR codes, you've loaded in correctly. Just hit OK and we're ready to move on. Head up to System Manager and select it. 
If you have a PS3 Slim, you'll want to see a green check right here. If you don't, that means your system is not compatible with custom firmware and you will have to follow the PS3 hand guide. Now select Flash Memory, then select Save Flash Memory Backup. Then you'll want to select Dev USB 000, then hit Save. This will dump your backup to the USB drive. This may take a minute, just let it do its thing. Once it's done, select Close and plug your USB drive back into your computer. Now back on the computer, if you look at your USB drive, you will see a dump.bin file. Drag that onto your desktop. Now we need to verify that it's a good backup. To do that, we will use the PS3 Checker tool we downloaded earlier. On your desktop, create a folder named PS3 Checker, exactly as shown on screen. Open up the PS3 Checker tool that we downloaded earlier and copy all the files over to the new folder we just created. Before continuing, know that you may need Python for this next step. You can download it from the Microsoft Store by just searching for it and downloading it. Now open the PS3 Checker folder we created and drag your dump.bin file onto the file named drag and drop your dump here. Then just let the script run. What you're looking for is the checks completed segment. If you see zero dangers and zero warnings, you're good to continue. However, if you didn't get zero and zero, you will need to restart your PS3 and redump the flash. Make sure to keep your dump somewhere safe just in case you need it someday. Now close out of that window and reinsert your USB drive into the same port as before on your PS3. Back on the PS3, select Flash Memory Patch and then Load Patch via HTTP. Let it run its course and then close out. Now select Flash Memory Patch again, and then select the new option, Apply Loaded Patch. Here's where it warns you. This is the point of no return, and you could possibly brick your system if something goes wrong. Now knowing the risk, select Yes to proceed. This process takes a little bit. Now it's time to cross your fingers and hope for the best. If it's successful, you'll see a check mark, and everything will say done. Once you see this, you can close out of it. Now exit out of the browser and restart your PS3. Once restarted, make your way to Settings, System Update, and Update via Storage Media. Now if everything worked out properly, the scan should show 4.91 EvilNAT PEX. Click OK, agree to the user agreement, and let it go through the install process. Once your PS3 boots back up, you should see EvilNAT instead of PS3 on the startup screen. Congratulations, you now have a fully modded PlayStation 3. Thank you for watching, I hope you found this video useful. But with that being said, see you in the next one.